Hi library friends, this is Miss Leanne from the Huntley Area Public Library. We're back with another fun craft video. Today we're going to be making painted leaves, so let's get into the video. The supplies you'll need for today's craft is some leaves. So I have two leaves with me today. You're going to want, um, you don't want dry leaves because they will just crinkle apart. You kind of want um, leaves that are still green a little bit. So you want the leaves that are stuck on the tree, not falling off of the tree. You're gonna need some white pieces of paper. You're gonna need some paint. So I have red and yellow. I thought they would fit into the season because it's fall. You're gonna need a paintbrush. And then I have a container lid to put my paint on because I'm gonna mix them together. So let's get started. First, you're gonna wanna just have one sheet of paper in front of you. And then you're gonna grab your leaves and then grab your container lid that you're gonna be placing the paint on. Now, I like using a container lid because you can clean them really easily or you can put the paint on newspaper and just throw that away so it's super easy to clean up after. So I'm just gonna put a small dot of red and then a small dot of the yellow right next to each other. So I'm going to take the yellow first. If you want to keep some of the red and yellow for just a red and yellow leaf, you can leave that. Now I'm just going to put some yellow right there, grab some red, and place it on top of our yellow, kind of mix it together. I kind of want to keep it streaky. And then I'm gonna place my leaf somewhere on a clean area on here and just grab some of that red and yellow paint. Try and keep it as streak as I can. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your leaf flat on wherever you want it on the paper. So I want it here and you're going to press it down so you're going to go center to the outside. So you're going to kind of follow the leaf grooves. So you're going to smush it down and if you get some paint outside of the leaf that's okay. That's going to make it more personalized and then you're just going to Lightly lift the leaf off just like that. And then you have a really pretty leaf. So you're gonna, that's basically all um, this is, is you're using a leaf to make some leaf paintings. So you're gonna do the same thing again. This time I'm just gonna grab some yellow and stroke it onto my leaf. Grab some of the red. And then place it somewhere else. Now if you have different um, shapes of leaves, that'll be a lot cooler. I just grab the two same leaves off the same branch, same tree. So if you have different trees in a yard, you can use those. it up and as you can see the leaves kind of you can make them look different by the way that you press down on top of it so this one I kind of pressed on the outside but this one I just pressed mostly on the inside so we're gonna keep doing it until we get our paper filled with now you can keep trying different color combinations so this one, I'm actually gonna be making 
more red and have some yellow streaks in it. If you see that your leaf, the back side of your leaf is getting some paint on it, you can always grab a different leaf. So this one I'm going to try and make it look a little bit different than the one before it. Lift it up. And now you can see it kind of looks a lot different than those two. So you can play around with it as much as you want. So now I'm going to try maybe making a yellow leaf. So I'm going to grab some more paint. I'm going to squirt some more yellow paint over here because we used up all of our yellow. So you want to gradually add the paint onto your area. So you can see that I kind of put more yellow down here and a little bit red up here. So whatever paint is on your leaf, that's going to be how it turns out on your paper, obviously. So, where are we going to put this one? We're going to put this one, just let it fall. Now this one's going to be a whole leaf, so we're going to smush it. Smush it, smush it, smush it. This is a great way to make a leaf background. I'm going to put one right here. So it's a pretty simple craft. You can do anything you want with it. You could um, separate the leaves out a little bit more and then cut out the shapes of the leaf and then use those to decorate around your room if you want. So as you can see I'm just gradually adding more paint. You don't want to do too much paint because then that's just going to be wasting some of your paint, which I figured out the hard way before. And you could actually use these leaves as um, place cards on your Thanksgiving table. So like what you would, well, <laughs> sorry. So like what I said before, you could um, separate the leaf stamps a little farther apart and then cut them out individually and um, write the name on top of the leaf and put it on your table. So that one was a little bit wet, as you can see. You do want to make sure that your leaves aren't too um, filled with paint, or else you won't be able to get that those nice um, stem lines, which is the prettiest part of the leaf. And if you do want the stem lines, just make sure you press down on that 
center. Let's see if we can get a good, I mean, these are all pretty, but I want one that has a really good stem. Mm, that one's okay. So now what you could do, actually, if you wanted a really good stem work, you're gonna paint the back side of the leaf. So we'll do that to this one. Grab some yellow paint and some red, mix it together. All right. So now what we're gonna do, where are we gonna put it? Hmm, let's put it up here. So since the back side has more um, of the veins and the stems, that's what we're gonna call it. When you press down on the back side, you'll be able to see that you'll get more of the stem artwork. So let's lift it up and see, let's zoom in. You get a really, really beautiful leaf using this back part of it. So it's kind of a, whatever you prefer. I kind of like this one too and this one, but I also like this one. You can do a mix match of all of them together. So now, if your leaves are a little bit mixed together, what you could do is grab your brush and kind of like, so what I'm doing is creating a darker area of where the leaf starts so that you can tell the difference between the different leaves. So you do want to stroke into the middle of the leaf and not to the outside of the leaf. That way you'll be able to tell the difference between the leaves. And there we go. We've got our leaf artwork. Now I think this looks pretty cool actually. So you could um, cut it out and put it in a picture frame. I think I'm gonna add maybe one more leaf up here. I'm gonna add a more light orange color leaf. So let's do that. Maybe a light orange yellow. So I'm not gonna grab any more red for this leaf. I'm just gonna grab the orange and the yellow. And whatever is left on my paintbrush. So that's what it looks like. And now we're gonna place it down right about here. You press down on it. Now, if there's one leaf that looks, you don't like how it looks, you can just let it dry and just place another leaf on top of it. Just like that. And now you can either decide if you want that leaf, that red leaf peeking through or if you want the top leaf 
to be the main. Then you do the shading like we did before. You do want some of that red leaf to pop through too, so. And that is our craft for today. So I really like how this one turned out. Try it out at home and see how your leaf artwork turns out and share with the library on Instagram or Facebook and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you log on to HuntleyLibrary.org for all your digital content you have access to with your library card. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe our YouTube channel and follow our Instagram and Facebook for more information about our fun activities. And we'll see you at the library soon. Bye.